meeting everyone. Uh, we will go now to our lesson, Forms of Business Organizations. Okay, so we are going to talk now, what are the different forms of business organization? Hindi na kasi siya generalized na uh, business is business, but we are dissecting it into three major classifications, okay? So one of the first decisions that you will have to make as a business owner is how the business should be structured. All businesses must adopt some legal configuration that defines the rights and liabilities of participants in the business ownership control, personal liability, lifespan, and financial structure. This decision will have long-term implications, so you may want to consult with an accountant and attorney to help you select the form of ownership that is right for you. So there are actually three major forms of business organization, and each form has its own, advan uh, has its own advantages and disadvantages. Now, you need to determine the proper uh, form in order for you to maximize, uh, example, that your potential, your financial capacity, uh, ano ba yung level of ownership that you want, you want it nga ikaw lang yung may-ari, or you want naman, okay lang sa'yo na marami. And of course, there will be tax implications depending on the situation. So in making a choice, you will want to make to take into account the following. Number one, your vision regarding the size and nature of your business, the level of control you wish to have, like what was, uh, well, like what I have said kanina, ano ba yung control na gusto mo? Gusto mo full control or you want a limited control? Depende yan. The level of structure you are willing to deal with. O, uh, ano ba, kung ikaw ba yung nasa taas or marami kayo or nasa gitna ka lang, depende. The business vulnerability to loss, lawsuits, tax implications, which is very important in, de in deciding into the factors, uh, expected profit or loss of the business, or how, again, how are you going to divide the income or the losses of the business, whether or not you need to reimburse, uh, reinvest earnings into the business, and your need for access to cash out of the business for yourself. Okay, so business organization is the single most important choice you'll make regarding your company. What form your business adopts will affect a multitude of factors, many of which will decide your company's future. Aligning your goals to your business organization type is an important step. So understanding the pros and cons of each type is crucial. Like uh, what we have said kanina sa previous slide, it is very, very important for you to properly decide what form of business organization do you like, okay? Kasi maa-apektuhan talaga yon yung flow ng operations, yung distribution of income and or losses, uh, tax liabilities, and so on and so forth. So... Uh, your company's form will affect how are you taxed? Uh, is it individual? Is it uh, full talaga sa'yo? Under ba sa'yo as personal? Or is it a company, a corporation, a partnership? Your legal liability, of course, it will be affected depending on the number of the ownership, cost of formation, and operational costs. So let's talk uh, let's describe each one of them. So there are actually three forms. We have the sole proprietorship, the partnership, and the corporation. So we are going to talk first, what is sole proprietorship? So sole proprietorship is the simplest and most common form of business ownership. Sole proprietorship is a business owned and run by someone for their own benefit. The business existence is entirely dependent on the owner's decisions. So when the owner dies, so does the business. So again, the, uh, sole proprietorship is the uh, simplest, the easiest to form. For example, gusto mo magnegosyo, mag-open ka sa sari-sari store sa inyong area, so you can stand it on your own, easy. Gusto mo mapatindog, kung may kwarta ka, patindog ka sa changi or sa sari-sari store. And it is the most common kasi 
especially in our area, in the province of South Cotabato, and especially here in Surana, there are a lot of businesses which is actually a sole proprietorship. Uh, it doesn't mean that isa lang siyang may ari. For example, isang family, but still it could still be considered as sole proprietorship. Isa lang yung major, uh, isa yung owner. Important yun na factor. Isa yung owner, siya yung decision maker, and so on and so forth. So what are the advantages of sole proprietorship? Number one, all profits are subject to the owner. Siyempre, siya lang yung may ari. So lahat ng profit, sa kanya mapupunta. There is very little regulation for proprietorship. Ang dali-daling yung mag-form ng sole proprietorship. Kaya maraming nag engage sa business na nagsisimula sa sole proprietorship or prefer sole proprietorship. For example, ang requirement nila lang is uh, business permit, mayor's permit, and so on and so forth. Owners have total flexibility when running the business. Since, be, since sole proprietorship, So very few requirements for starting off and only a business license, like what I was said earlier. What are the disadvantages naman of sole proprietorship? Owner is 100% liable for business debts. Okay? Kabaliktaran lang siya doon sa profit. Kung siya lang yung may-ari, siya lang yung makakakuha ng income ng business. Yung, for example, may income na 100,000, so yung 100,000, sa kanya yan ang yun mapupunta. Pero kapag nalugi naman or may utang si business, yung overall na utang or yung kalugian, si owner rin na ang magko-cover. Siya lang. And then, equity is limited to the owner's personal resources. Of course, yung capital nakadepende lang siya sa capacity ni owner sa pag-invest. Ownership of proprietorship is difficult to transfer kasi uh, mas madali na lang siya i-terminate Diba? Compared sa e-transfer mo siya. So, for example, uh, mag-open ka sa isang bis uh, business and then say yung makapangalan and then uh, let's say uh, we don't want to think pero may nangyari sa'yo, namatay ka. So, yun siya, usually ang ginagawa na nila, pinapaklose na lang yung business sa business permit. Pag-PN. And then, uh, in open, eh, re open na lang siya. Okay? So, mag apply na lang ng bagong business permit. And then, no distinction between personal and business income. Another form of business organization is partnership. Okay? So, this come in two types. The general and the limited partnership. In general partnerships, both owners invest their money, property, labor, etc. to the business and are both 100% liable for business debts. In other words, even if you invest a little in a general, into a general partnership, you are still potentially responsible for it, all its debt. General partnerships do not require a formal agreement. Partnerships can be verbal or even implied between the, the two business owners. Limited partnership require a formal agreement between the partners. They must also file a certificate of partnership with the state. Limited partnerships allow partners to limit their own liability for business debts according to their portion of ownership or investment. So what does this mean? Kung general partnership, if you form a general partnership, it means na uh, you, the entire uh, partners or for example, apat kayo na partners nag-open ang business, nag-invest kayo ng 250,000, so yung total na capital ni business is 1 million. So, ang na-invest ng kada partner is 250,000 lang. Pero kapag nagka-utang si business ng let's say 2 million, yung 2 million, ihahatiin yun siya equally sa inyo. Okay? Or depende siya sa percentage of ownership. So, kung equal distribution kayo sa investment, di ba, 250, 250 kayo, so that's equal. So, mangyayari 25% each. So, ang mangyayari niyan, 25% of the 2 million is liable to you. So, you each partner is liable for 500,000. Kahit na 250, 250,000 na yung in-invest mo. Okay? So, pwedeng habulin yung personal uh, properties ng bawat partner to pay the 
500,000. Pero pag sinabing limited partnership, uh, limited lang yung liability mo doon sa in-invest mo. So sabi natin kanina, let's say, we will continue yung example natin na 250,000. So kahit na magkautang si business ng 1 million, yung liability na ng bawat partners is limited lang doon sa in-invest niya, which is 250,000 hindi siya liable in excess of his uh, investment. So what are the advantages of partnerships? We have shared resources provides more capital for the business. Siyempre, mas marami yung investors, mas malaki yung potential capital na ma, uh, ma-acquire ng business. Each partner shares the total profits of the company. Kung may income, hahati-hati in sang bawat partner. And similar flexibility and simple design of a proprietorship. Parang ano lang kasi siya, parang proprietorship lang siya, pero marami lang yung owners. Diba? Mas, mas simpler siya compared doon sa third. And we have inexpensive to establish a business partnership, formal or informal. You could register it to DTI and open a general or a limited partnership or sabi nga natin kanina, when you open a general partnership, it can only be, pwede na verbal lang siya. So what are the disadvantages naman ng partnership? You have each partner is 100% responsible for debts and losses. Selling the business is difficult, requires finding new partners. So for, ano yung example niyan? For example, nag-open si person A, person B, person C ng business. Then nag-back out si person A. Uh, let's say after one year, nag, uh, nag-back out siya because mag-migrate siya sa, sa United States. So yung natira na lang is si B at si C. Hindi pwede yung continue ni B at saka ni C yung partnership nilang tatlo because there should be, uh, uh, all partners should be uh, there. So ang mangyayari noon, mateterminate yung partnership ng tatlo at pwedeng gumawa sila ng partnership between B at saka C. Wala na si A. And then, another disadvantage is partnership ends when any partner decides to end it. Similar to the explanation ko. Now, we will go now to the most complex form of business organization. We have the corporation. So what is a corporation? Corporations are for tax purposes, separate entities and are considered a legal person. So this means, among other things, that the profits generated by a corporation are taxed as the personal income of the company. Then, any income distributed to the shareholders are, as dividends or profits are taxed again as a personal income of the owners. Ito yung pinaka-complex kasi, kasi it will require now the registration to SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, and there are other forms also. So, ang mga articles of incorporation, articles of corporation, and so on and so forth. Ang mayayari kasi dito, uh, si corporation, example, uh, tatlong partners nag-open ng corporation. Uh, ABC, nag-open sila ng D corporation. Si D corporation is already considered now an entity or a person. So, yung income ng corporation is taxable already. Example, kumita si si D Corporation ng 1 million. So yung 1 million taxable na siya. Now, may profit si business, 'di ba, doon sa 1 million na tinax. Magbibigay siya ng dividend sa shareholders which is A, B, C. So yung dividend na marireceive ni A, marireceive ni B at marireceive ni C is already taxable doon na sa personal ni nilang tatlo. Okay? So double taxation na mangyayari. So What are the advantages of a corporation? Number one, limits liability of the owner to debts or losses. Profits and losses belong to the corporation and not to the shareholders. Okay? Can be transferred to new owners fairly easily. So, it will be easy. Uh, it is very common uh, now, sa, especially ang dami mga stock, stock traders, di ba? Uh, bumibili sa ng stocks binibenta nila, buy and sell. So, ganun kadali yung ownership. Unlike doon sa partnership na kung mamatay yung, mawala yung mag-decide yung isang partner na umalis, matiterminate yung partnership. Pero dito sa corporation, kahit na ilang beses pa yan mag-transfer-transfer ang ownership, 
uh, mare-retain pa rin siya as long as validity pa rin ng lifespan ni business. Usually kasi ang corporation is uh, 50 years ang binibigay. And then after 50 years, mag, mag-register sila ulit. So on and so forth. And then personal uh, assets cannot be seized to pay for business debt. Ito yung, yung disadvantage ni sole proprietor tsaka ni uh, partnership. But what again are the disadvantages of corporation? Number one, corporate operations are costly. There needs to uh, there are a lot of people to be employed. May mga board of directors, may management, may employees. So talagang ano siya, business uh, a complex form of business siya. And then establishing a corporation is costly kasi ang daming papers na kailangan i-process, i-comply, registrations, and so on and so forth. Start a corporate business requires complex paperwork, like what I've said Nina. And someone, and with some exceptions, corporate income is taxed twice. Okay, so yun na yung example ng sinabi ko kanina. Taxable yung income ni corporation, taxable yung dividend na receive ni shareholders. So those are the three forms of business organization. So I hope you learned something from it. So thank you for listening.